such a lovely day it was just truly sweet I'm surrounded by such lovely thoughtful people that um that just know how to make you feel really loved Adam Kelly and Nathan had arranged for a picnic to happen it was so gorgeous they had picked out all my favorite food tiger bread salmon hummus cucumber carrot sticks afternoon tea so scones jam um crisps oh it was just gorgeous it was the most beautiful spread we went to this gorgeous park it was super green and there was loads of shade available but loads of sunshine and it was just good vibes it reminded me of english summer where the sun comes out and everyone packs up their picnic bags and heads on out enjoys the sunshine tells all their family and friends to join them from the whole day in the sunshine having good food having good company having good laughs and that was exactly this vibe it was just lush only going for a basket and a light bulb but um we found some other things so first up we have got adam actually has one of these already and i bought myself one because i really need to have more water and i feel like this is the way to do it with a thermal flask ugly mug thing i've been putting myself off buying one of these because i thought i'd try and find a funky pattern one but the ones that have funky patterns on are without a straw or without like a sippy bit it just is practical it does the job it's by the brand hy3 it's a flip top it's stainless steel filter screen slide lock and it's a thermal that was 69 dirhams this is super boring i'm sorry but i thought i might as well show you whilst i'm showing you everything else so i picked up two packs of zipper freezer bags i think they're freezer bags are you freezer bags yes yeah because i've got so much tupperware but sometimes you just need a bag because what you're trying to freeze doesn't require going into a container so yeah i got um lots of different sizes next up again really boring but i just picked up two light bulbs because we've got a lamp in our lounge area we've also got a lamp in our bedroom and one of the bulbs went so literally every day we are moving the one working bulb back and forth to the room depending on which one we're in at the time so yeah, it needed to sort that out. So then I picked up these floor protectors. I bought these to go behind our massive mirror opposite our dining table. If you've seen my other videos, and you might have noticed that for the longest time, we've had a pair of socks on the edge of our mirror to protect it from the wall. And 
Adam and I have both kind of forgotten that they are even there. They're just part of the background now. It's only when I go to edit my videos, I'm like, still got socks on the wall. So yeah, bought these. These were seven dirhams. And I picked up this really lovely ribbed glass jar with some gold hardware on it. It's actually a cotton wool jar. Um, so I picked it up in the bathroom section. I do already have one of these, which I bought a while ago um, because I loved it and I thought it'd be perfect for our sugar to go in. So we have one of these that already lives in the kitchen. Now I've bought one to go in the bathroom and this was 79 dirhams and then i picked up a new front doormat just in this really lovely leopard print design we have already got a doormat but it was left over from the last tenant and it's just a little bit worse for wear so we did really need a new one and i thought this is fun this is definitely more me so yeah i got this this was 49 dirhams so this actually isn't even mine this is my sister's so it's accidentally made its way up to my apartment but i might as well show you this is 29 dirhams such a bargain and it's this gorgeous little standing planter with these beautiful colors oh i love this i did nearly pick it up for myself but i thought this is just something i really don't need right now and it's crazy because i don't even have a job right now but i feel so busy that i don't know if i could even keep a plant alive then i picked up two pillows and they look like the saddest sleep you would ever have in your life <laughs> As soon as I rip into the plastic, these bad boys are going to expand. And they were only 19 dirhams each, which is amazing for pillows. Really happy with these because I want to start dressing our bed. Our bed is lacking a bit of life. So the reason I actually went to Home Centre was to get a basket. And this is the one I ended up with. This is 129 dirhams and it is a fabulous size. I really like all these natural tones, the wicker, the braid. I really like it. I think it's really fun. And this time around in terms of interior, we've gone for a really cozy vibe like we've incorporated a lot of warm tones i just love incorporating different textures like this because i just think they make the room so much more interesting because i would say my interior style is definitely maximalist but sometimes that can be a bit too cluttered so even though i'm very much a maximalist i still like to keep it in some sort of theme without being too restricted i just think this is a perfect addition to what we already have the main reason i wanted to buy this in the first place is because we've got an extension lead that is just out all the time and i really just don't like the way it looks so i bought this to kind of hide the extension lead in here but there's also two little sockets above where this basket is going to sit so then i started thinking how can i cover those because ideally i would like to not the end of the world but i thought oh if i do see something and i like it and it can cover the sockets then i'm definitely going to get it so i ended up getting some really cool things so that i could do that first of all i picked up these jute sticks and there is 20 in the pack these are cream and they cost 15 dirhams and then i saw they also had the jute sticks in this really lovely natural color as well so i picked up two packs of these because i wanted it to be more this color than the cream and also the amazing news is that these were on sale so they were seven dirhams each and the final thing to go with the arrangement are two of the same flower stems so these are cotton flowers yeah they're really pretty i haven't really seen this type of faux plant around and i thought it just added another dimension to the arrangement just because it was just sticks <laughs> so i wanted to add a little bit of spice and these are 12 dirhams each so yes i'm really happy and then the final thing i picked up is another bunch of random what even is this so these are meant to look like dried leaves and they are super tall and there are five leaves in this pack and it cost nine dirhams i think i've got three packs already the ones i've already got live outside in our balcony and these are just going to join them because i felt like i needed one more pack just to beef that arrangement up a little bit so i'm now going to find some homes for these babies morning troops i just want to say that i absolutely love this jumper this was actually my granddad's um and it says hawaiian legends on it um it's really cool it's really oversized and baggy just super retro i love it i live in it and i just enjoy it very much i wear it when i'm lounging around but i also wear it when i am going to like maintenance appointments and today i'm actually off to go and have my first ever hydrofacial i'm so excited about it it's actually a present for my birthday from both of my sisters so right now i haven't got any makeup on um my skin doesn't look that bad it needs a bit of mm. this is a true hydrofacial by the way i know there's lots of other facials that are inspired by the original hydrofacial so i also might give them a go later on um but I'm just gonna see what this does for me and wish me luck, hun. Seems like 
Please try and look past this hairdo. <laughs> just wanted to tell you about the facial, and oh my goodness me, it was amazing. It went on for an hour and a half, and I've never had a facial for that amount of time. At one point, she even put this jelly mask all over my face, like including my eyes and my lips. So it was just my nostrils <laughs> that were out. She had warned me and said, Right, okay, I'm gonna put it on your eyes now. I've been led there for probably about an hour already with my eyes shut. And then because she told me something was going on my eyes, I don't know why, I was just. I was just really panicking that then all of a sudden my eyes were actually open. <laughs> so silly. When I first got out of the chair and looked at my skin in the mirror, it was just so glowy and so healthy looking. And I was just like, this is amazing. We then got a gourmet burger kitchen. I don't know what was up with me. I'd never crave burgers, but for some reason I did today. We were sat there, just these two little glazed donuts with this gorgeous, glowy, healthy, fresh skin. And then we ordered a fat greasy burger. I think that just says a lot about me. I think that just says a lot about our personalities. <laughs> so that is why my hair is like this, because I had to get the hair up and off my face whilst I was tucking into that burger. And now I'm about to get changed into my pajamas because I'm off to a pajama party. One of my gorgeous new friends, Gemma, has invited my sister and I around hers for pizza and Spice Girls movie. And dogs are invited as well. Woo! Yeah, I'm gonna get changed into my PJs and I'm gonna head on down. Hello, what's this? Oh Thank you. Is this for me? <laughs> is this for me or is this for you? I had one. Okay. So you, this is yours. You want it though, don't you? No, you, you they're your favourites. Thank you That was so random. Thank you so much yeah. Woohoo! Even my pajamas have pizza on them it's okay, if I'm not okay Going off the deep end What can I say? I've been feeling low I've been feeling low Good morning everyone. So today I am absolutely blitzing the apartment. So I'm going to have a really good day of just tidying up, getting things back in order, putting things back in place. Um, and just doing some bits that I've just needed to do around the house for a long time. So I'm starting off in the kitchen this morning and then I'll move on to the other areas of the apartment as well. One thing that I've noticed about living in Dubai is that everything gets so dusty. Like you have to keep on top of your cleaning and even though I'm in a really high up apartment, the sand still makes its way through somehow. I clean the apartment every single day anyway, but I don't do like a deep clean every day. So yeah, I'm just gonna tackle the kitchen to start with and let's get into it. meaning to do for a long time all around the kitchen surfaces is this excess black ink looking thing i don't know what it is i've tried a couple of things to get rid of it but today i'm going to try nail varnish remover because i think that that might work i'm really pleased with how that's turned out but it's still not perfect there are still definitely black residue all over the tiles and in the end i had to use 
tweezers and, and little tiny scissors to try and pull it back. But yeah, it took a super long time. So I've actually been cleaning the kitchen for nearly four and a half hours. So next up, I'm gonna try and do that tile exercise thing that I just did on the other side of the kitchen. And then I am going to mop the floors. And then I think I'm gonna put my feet up and have a cup of tea. So I was around my friend's apartment the other day. She had these really cool motion detected spotlights started flashing up as we were walking into the apartment. And I just thought it was really cute because it was such a nice welcome home. It was like I had some kind of power. I was just walking along and all these lights just turned on as and when I needed them to, it was great. But also it's really handy because I often have lots of stuff in my hands. So I struggled to reach over and turn the light on. So I said to my friend, 100% I'm gonna buy myself some of those. They are amazing. But within a couple of days, she actually turned up to my apartment and brought a box of four with her. So she was really kind and gave me a box. And so I'm gonna put them up now, just in our little hallway behind me. So these are the lights. They are just little black backed silver front lights. This one's actually on, so you can see that's what it looks like on. And you attach them to your wall using these little sticky back double-sided pads are you really there for me are you ever 